This video is brought to you by Squarespace. So many of us don't want to spend a million dollars on houseplants, but we want to add interesting, unique, different types of varieties to our collections and have no fear with the huge demand in houseplants over the past few years. I'm starting to see a lot of the growers catching up and a lot of these plants that were very, very expensive in the past are now starting to come onto the market at very affordable rates and a lot of them are under $10. I was going through my collection the other day. As you can see, I have a million, million plants and I was some of my favorites I found recently for under $10 and a lot of them are under $5 so I thought let me do a video and share 10 of these plants that I found and that way you can know some plants to keep an eye out for if you want to add some unique houseplants to your collection many of them are just so easy care and absolutely stunning and it's really exciting to see now a lot of this depends where you live you know it depends where you live in the country I'm in Charlotte North Carolina so I'm sharing some of the plants I've been finding around here it also depends where in the world you live because we have a very wide-reaching houseplant community so let me know what plants you've been finding it's always very exciting to hear where everyone's finding plants and what they're finding and if you want to include prices that's great as well that way we can all keep an eye out for some of these amazing plants. Now if good planty vibes brings a smile to your face and you like these types of videos, plant shopping, all that kind of good stuff, uh, you can subscribe and that way episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a really great community on Instagram if you'd like to join us on there. Now a huge thank you to our friends at Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'm not an overly technical person so the thought of creating a website from scratch always felt a little overwhelming to me to be honest. So with Squarespace the fact that they have have so many different templates that I could choose from and so many different stock images. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but I was able to whip up a really good website in a very short amount of time. What sets Squarespace apart for me is the fact that it's an all-in-one website platform. So whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it so easy to create a beautiful website. You can engage with your audience and you can sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your terms. I didn't realize this but you can also create custom merch on there they'll handle everything from products production inventory and even shipping would be handled for you they also provide analytics so you have those insights needed to grow your business so to get started working on your website is super simple all you have to do is head to squarespace.com plantlife and you can get 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain so the one that i thought i would start with and I can usually find them for between five to eight dollars are variegated African violets and a lot of you that know you know watch my Ashley planty content know that I'm a huge fan of these beautiful beautiful plants um, there are so many cool varieties to be found African violets have been a favorite in the plant community forever right but to have some variegated African violets is just something that's a little bit different. They would have been impossible to find a few years ago, and now I'm seeing them more and more red readily. Um, again, it depends where you live in the in the country or in the world. You know, prices vary, and I've been seeing them kind of more and more popping up at local nurseries. So look how beautiful this is. The variegated African violets have become one of my absolute favorites. I find that they're very easy to care for. They're good growers. They put out the most magnificent blooms. I'll show a couple others that I have in my collection as well. And they're fun to collect different different types. This one um, is a Buckeye Country Gal, variegated African violet, and it has pink variegation, dark green leaves. The leaves are very fuzzy. It's purple on the back sides of the leaves. Here's another one. I have them in self-watering planters, which is something new I recently started trying, and they have gotten massive. Like, they love these self-watering pots so much. This one's called a Wrangler's Snowbridge, and it's recently put out a bloom. Absolutely beautiful. The variegation is white, and it's so, so pretty. This is another one that recently bloomed for me. Look how beautiful those blooms are. You can see a lot more variegation on the new leaves. So these do get a good amount of um, kind of bright indirect light. Honestly, I think they might be getting a little too much light because some of the leaves are looking a little bit faded, although this is an older leaf and the newer leaves on this one are a nice dark green color. The next one is an Iron Cross Begonia. This one was $7.95 
And again, I think this one was one that was pretty pricey back in the day, but now you can really find a good deal on them. And it's just so cool. Like I'm hoping that the camera will show the texture of the leaves because it's like little spikes on the leaves. Not little, they're quite big actually. And it has red stems, but this one is very, very unique. It is very, very different. This one does well with medium light and it likes to be watered when the soil is about halfway dry. And it is a very, very good grower. The leaves can get very huge, which is fun to, to enjoy. Absolutely terrific, Begonia, $7.95. Now I'm sure many of you have heard of the goldfish plant, which has little blooms that look like little goldfish. This is a variegated goldfish plant and it has grown like crazy since I got it. And it was under $10. I think it was about $7 and it is so, so cool looking. Um, it's an absolutely amazing plant. If you wanted to have a hanging basket or a vining plant, it's absolutely beautiful. It's so easy to care for. The more light you give this plant, the more variegation it will get. And this is one of those plants that I just would never see them around. And then now I'm starting to see them a little bit more. It's a really unique, uncommon variety of this plant. And I'm really excited to see it coming onto the market. The leaves are nice and thick and succulenty. So it is a very hardy plant and I just give it water when it's about halfway to fully dry. I'm also seeing tons of amazing alocasia varieties coming onto the market for under $10. That would have in the past been incredibly expensive and hard to find. So this is a, a different one as well. This is called an alocasia ninja and it's, it looks a lot like a black velvet alocasia. It is a variety of jewel um, alocasia and I love it. I couldn't believe I only got it for $8.95. It has very interesting shaped leaves. I find it's a good grower. It has very um, shimmery, like a shimmery quality to it that I don't see on a lot of other alocasias. It's really a happy, happy plant. I mean, isn't that so beautiful ninja alocasia i'd not really ever heard of this plant and i just happened to pick it up because i thought oh my gosh 8.95 like i have to pick this plant up and it's been just a trooper and i'm notor notoriously a little bit like hard on my plants so they have to somewhat adapt and this guy's had no problem putting up with my underwatering or any of that kind of thing so yeah, and I'm seeing a lot of other alocasias, like I said, come onto the market that you can find for under $10, like the black velvet, like the alocasia maharanis. I mean, I could just go on and on, but I've never seen, you know, an alocasia ninja out on the market before under $10. So this one definitely makes me happy. When I tell you that I saw a confetti syngonium at a nursery for $4.95 and flipped out, I just, I couldn't believe it. I had a complete heart attack. And since then I've been seeing them around and you can find them for under $10 and under $5. It's such an amazing Syngonium. This is another one that would be impossible to find a couple years ago. And the fact that I'm seeing them around more makes me so happy. Confetti Syngoniums are Syngoniums that have like a splash of pink. And this one has more than a splash. Sometimes they can get this chunky um, pink color on them as well. Other times it's just like a little sp confetti sprinkle of pink. These plants are so easy. I mean, syngoniums are amazing. The other reason this plant is so cool is that each leaf that comes out is another surprise. You know, how much pink is it going to have on it? Each plant is unique and different. I'm really excited to see what this leaf does. And they're so easy to care for. I mean, you give them bright and direct light or a little less than that you can as well, um, you know, medium light. And they like to be watered when the soil is about halfway dry. And they'll, they're great growers as well. They're also very forgiving. You know, if you miss a couple waterings and they're looking super droopy, they'll usually bounce back relatively quickly. Or even if the leaves die off, the it'll put out new leaves relatively quickly, quickly to make a comeback. Um, which leads me into my next one. 
This is a Syngonium batik, and I haven't removed the dead leaves to show you an example of. I missed watering this guy at one point because of where he was in my plant room. And as you can see, a lot of the leaves died off. But since then, he's bounced back because um, these plants are amazing. And there's like 10 new leaves coming out. And the Syngonium Batik was, I mean, $100 a year ago, and I found this one for $9.95, and I have been seeing them around more. And look how beautiful these leaves are. The Batik have a signature, like, bright lime green white variegation on there. They have these really beautifully shaped leaves, and I'm even seeing some really other exciting um, varieties come on the market, like when Landii. This basket was $90, but since buying that basket, I've been seeing other ones come on the market for about $15, so I'm sure those will keep coming down, but I'm just excited to see a lot of these plants that are becoming more readily affordable. <laughs> time to trim off all these dead leaves but I just did just want to like kind of show you um, how easily this plant grows back and also like I always like to keep it real with you guys and even us that are have a plant YouTube channel let our plants get like this without trimming them off sometimes so no judgment zone around here here we have a philodendron silver sword I never in a million years thought I would find a philodendron silver sword for $4.95 at a nursery this plant was so expensive for so long, and it's understandable why. I mean, look how beautiful it is. The leaves are so incredibly silvery. It's a fabulous grower. It's hardy. It's easy care. Absolutely wonderful plant. And this one wants to climb up. I need to give it a little bit of um, maybe a moss pole so that the leaves can get really huge and beautiful. And I have been seeing more philodendron silver swords on the market. I'm seeing them at big box shops sometimes. I haven't seen them, but other people have. This philodendron doesn't need bright light. It's okay with medium light and it appreciates being watered when the soil is about halfway dry. Another philodendron that I'm seeing around for about $5. I should have made this one $5 and under um, uncommon plants uh, because a lot of these I'm realizing are more towards $5 than $10. But another one that I'm seeing is the philodendron micans. I mean, this plant was so hard to find for the longest time. Now I'm seeing an influx of them at specialty nurseries. I'm even seeing them at big box shops. I think I found this one or another one that I have for about $5. And look how much this one has grown since I got it. Absolutely fabulous philodendron. This one does not like bright light. It does not like being dried out. So keep it in more medium light and make sure the soil doesn't dry out too much. It's hard for these velvety leaves to bounce back once they become completely dehydrated. So don't be discouraged though if that does happen and a lot of the leaves die off because it is a fast grower. I have had that happen numerous times, even on this plant and it bounces back. So it's great to propagate. I cannot believe that I'm seeing the philodendron micans coming onto the market at such a great price. Yeah, there are so many wonderful plants to be found out there for $10 and under. Variegated strawberry begonia. Now this is not a type of begonia. It is a Saxifraga stolonifera. So you do see this plant around from time to time and it's usually the non-variegated version but I am seeing this beautiful variegated version around more and more. And this one was $7.95. I found it at a specialty nursery. This is a wonderful hanging basket plant. You know, these will grow out and you'll see it's starting to do this here. It'll put these little pups out that you can easily propagate with this. And if I were to just leave this, it would like continue adding more and more of them. This is an absolutely fabulous plant. I can't believe it was only $7.95 when I found it. I have found it in the past and it was more expensive than that. So hopefully these are becoming more readily available and a little bit less expensive. The leaves can get crispy if you don't uh, water it more you know, regularly if you let it dry out. And I think it does enjoy humidity. So again, don't let it dry out too much. And if you give it beating light on there, because that's what I had with my first one of these, it does crisp up a lot on the outside of the leaves. But this one could also be a pretty quick grower as well if you give it the right growing conditions. It was really hard to choose a last one because I have so many more that I wanna share with everybody. So definitely let me know if you want to see 10 more of these. 
but I decided to go with a really cool type of cactus that I love, which is called a paper spine cactus. It's not super rare or anything, but it can be somewhat tricky to find, especially in the past. And you know what? I'm starting to see these even at big box shops. So that is so exciting. And really what that, the reason why I wanted to show a cactus is that we're seeing a lot of really cool cactus and succulents opening up, um, ones that were uncommon and harder to find, uh, along with all the demand for the house plants, a lot of these really cool cactus and succulents are coming onto the market so don't forget about those um in addition to seeing you know really cool paper spine cactus uh i've been seeing a lot of interesting euphorbias come on the market i've been seeing like variegated apuntias and this one was only 5.99 so i think yeah this one's from a pike's nursery so you can find these around and these are so cool so specifically paper spine are are known uh, as paper spine cactus because their spines are very papery. It's a type of tephro cactus and you can find pine cone ones that look like this but don't have the spines. They're just completely, you know, they're pretty smooth. And I found some really fun cactus and succulent varieties at nurseries and big box shops for under $10. So yeah, I have a lot more plants I want to talk about, but I just thought that this one definitely needed an honorable mention. Uh, there's like other Hoyas that you can be finding for under $10. So if you don't have a million dollars to spend on plants, but you want to get into collecting and you like to collect somewhat unusual plants, have no fear, there are plenty of plants out there. I would just recommend going out and seeing what you can find, have a fun treasure hunt time of it because there are some really, really great plants on the market nowadays. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future videos in your newsfeed. Let me know what cool plants you've been finding out on the market. Feel free to include where in the country you live and how much it costs because it's really helpful for everybody. It helps us know what to keep an eye out for. And we also have a wonderful community on Instagram if you'd like to join us on there. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.